Hello, and welcome to my monthly video update. I'm Mayor Mike Panalides. In June, we passed a $98.4 million operating budget, introduced the city's renewable energy park, honored local organizations as well as city staff, and celebrated the 5,000-year-old practice of yoga. So let's get started. On June 8th, City Council passed the FY 2016 operating budget by a 7-to-1 vote. The $98.4 million operating budget is a level service budget and one we can all be proud of. We will use this budget as we formulate our long-term financial plan for the city. I want to thank the Finance Department, the City Council, and our Finance Committee, chaired by Ian Pfeiffer, for their due diligence and thoughtful process making this budget a success. Along with a number of mandates in the budget, including police and fire, pension and health benefits, we were able to focus on public safety, the environment, and infrastructure. We were also able to cut your solid waste annual fee by 15%. Highlights in the $8.8 .8 million capital budget include $3.2 million in street and sidewalk improvements, $100,000 in stormwater improvements, and $5 million in water and sewer improvements. To see more on the budget, please go to annapolis.gov. The city recently announced the selection of Annapolis Solar Park LLC for the development of the solar portion of the Annapolis Renewable Energy Park. The energy park will be constructed at the site of the closed and capped Annapolis landfill. Annapolis Solar Park was one of five companies bidding for the project and they will build their own and operate a 16.8 megawatt solar project which will convert sunlight into direct current electricity. The corporation has a 20-year lease, and when this project is complete, it will be the largest solar project identified by the Environmental Protection Agency, exclusively installed on a closed landfill. This project is expected to be operational by the end of 2016, and is anticipated to generate more than $5 million in revenue for the city over the course of the next 20 years. For more information on the project, please go to annapolis.gov. This month, we celebrated businesses, organizations, and city staff for their contributions to our city. I was proud to be at the grand opening of Dazzling Florist, located at 909 West Street in Annapolis. Dazzling Florist offers flower delivery throughout the area, as well as nationwide delivery through their network of reliable florist. For more information, you can go to dazzlingflorist.net or call them at 443-509-5993. Leeward Market reopened under new owners in June of 2014, and on June 17, 2015, the owners celebrated their one-year anniversary. Located in the heart of Eastport at 601 Second Street, the new Leeward Market offers local favorites and several new items with a Greek flair. For more information, Go to leewardmarketcafe.com or call them at 443-837-6122. Also celebrated this month, Annapolis Green co-founders Lynn Forsman and Elvia Thompson for their organization becoming affiliated with Keep Annapolis Beautiful. They were honored by City Council with the citation. This week, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Annapolis National Historic Landmark District. And I proclaim June 23rd is National Historic Landmark Day in the city of Annapolis. And also this week, a city council citation was awarded to Jennifer Jennings of the Department of Recreation and Parks for being the representative at the White House for the five year Let's Move anniversary celebration. Department Director Mike Morris was there to show his support for the hard work on behalf of the Recreation and Parks staff. On Saturday, June 20th, I enjoyed celebrating the first annual International Day of Yoga. Yoga is a 5,000-year-old physical, mental, and spiritual practice having its origin in India. And while the actual day is celebrated on June 21st, the Art of Living Foundation and the Embassy of India partnered to celebrate the event in Annapolis because the 21st is Father's Day. Finally, I want to pause and ask you all to keep Governor Larry Hogan and his family in your thoughts. I know the citizens of Annapolis share the governor's optimism in having a full recovery from his cancer diagnosis. 
I, along with the governor, have the utmost confidence in the team of medical professionals at the Anne Arundel County Medical Center and John Hopkins Hospital. And we commend the governor for continuing to serve the citizens of Maryland while going through this difficult and challenging time.